I'm afraid of my husband. Lawrence isn't the man that I married. We fight all the time. Sonny can argue 24-7. My husband will always start the fights. She's very combative and she uh, instigates a lot of fights. She'll push my buttons. Lawrence calls me every name in the book. Idiot, bitch, fat ass. He's, you know, has yelled you to me in front of the kids. I've been called a and Sonny's called me a loser. This is a freaking nightmare. Lawrence is violent. Lawrence has punched holes in our armoire, doors. He has broken skateboards. Sonny's broken two laptops and a big TV. She gets very violent. She's hit me multiple times. When I'm violent towards Lawrence, I'm trying to protect myself and the children. I explode, and I'm violent towards them. I'm not violent. I'm just responding to what Sonny is actually doing. I'm doing it. Yeah, you're doing it? When I was pregnant, I twisted my arm and forced me to the ground. And I just sat there and I'm like, do you realize what you just did? You just threw me down and I have a child in my stomach. And no response, nothing. Total fabrication, I didn't throw her down when she was pregnant. She gets in my face and pokes me. She'll knock your head off, she'll spit on you. I would get and that out of my face because I'm, I'm really just gonna get upset. I've had to run away and lock myself in a closet just so I could get away from her. Once when we were at a hotel. She uh, grabbed the laptop and threw the laptop against the wall. He pushed me, I fell over the bed. I'm hitting him and he's twisting my arms and I mean, it was just a nightmare. He just went stomp on my stomach and stomp my stomach and I was like, I couldn't breathe. This whole thing happened in front of the kids. The neighbors in the next hotel room ended up calling the police. They arrested Lawrence. I ended up staying overnight in jail. The whole incident made me feel like a huge Failure. Well, I didn't feel good about it. I was embarrassed. I felt like someone was my fault, but I felt lost, like I do most of the time. My husband has turned into a psycho. I'm afraid that his violence may escalate. Okay, now, you guys just sat here and, and watched this with you saying things that were going on and, and your comments. What's your reaction to this? I don't, I don't feel like I'm... Um, um, abusive uh, person. I'm surprised what she's uh, has said about uh, me and um, being afraid of her, being afraid of me. Uh -huh. Are you afraid too. of him? Yes, I'm very afraid of him. You're afraid of him. Let's, let's just be very clear about this. I want to be as crystal clear about this as I can. So I want you to be as honest as you can. And, and Lawrence, let me say up front, I'm not here to throw you under the bus. I'm here to help you. I'm here to help you both. I want this situation to be better, but you got to own what you do. And, right. and, and let's, let's start this way. I'm going to go through a list. You tell me if these things are true. But I want to start this way. And let's, let's take out the, the labels for a minute. Let's take out abuse. Let, let's take out violence. Let's, let's just talk about the actual acts and behavior themselves, whether they occurred or whether they not. Because you may have a different yardstick for measuring some of this than I do. Did you kick Sonia in the stomach during a fight at a hotel? No, I didn't kick her. Basically what happened was um, I, was on the in I was on the other side of the, of the hotel. Um, she wanted to communicate. Uh, I was on my laptop. She came over and got aggressive, took my laptop. I tried to get out of the door. She was in the way of the door. And I pushed her, which, is, which was not right, and I ran out, out the door. So you pushed her. You say you pushed her. Would that be wrong? Yeah, terribly wrong. OK, you uh, say he kicked you. Yes, he kicked okay. me. Okay, would that be wrong? That would be wrong. If you kicked her in the stomach. Now, we obtained the police report for the incident that took place at the hotel. Now, according to the police, you were arrested for fifth degree domestic assault. Right. You were placed on probation for a year, and then the charges were dropped. And you admitted to the police that you were drinking. In fact, you blew a .05, I, I think, um, at the time, according to the police report. And they found physical evidence of an altercation. Now, Sonia had red marks on her chest, her shirt was stretched and ripped, and you had a small scratch on your chest and a small cut on the inside of your upper lip. Right. Things got violent. Right. Her sex life is very stressful. Lawrence is constantly wanting sex. It's not about love, it's about how can I get Sonia to have sex with me tonight? And if I don't, then he's constantly bugging me about it. And it becomes more like a job. She denies sex. Sometimes I get back for it. I'm denying him sex because I feel like he doesn't appreciate it. He gets angry. If I don't give him sex, he'll take off. He might take my stuff. My husband has held my phone ransom for sex. He's taken money on my wallet. He's taken my ID. 
Sometimes I had to work awful hard to, uh, to have her do anything. He flicked the lights on at four in the morning, pulls covers off of me, turned the TV on as loud as he possibly can until he gets what he wants. One morning, I found toilet paper between my legs. And I thought, what the heck is this? And it instantly hit me, like my heart just dropped. I was thinking, God, this guy did he freaking rape me. My husband had sex with me without me even knowing. She still believes to this day that I did something there. I didn't do anything that day. You are saying that he holds things ransom to extract sex from you. You said he held, held your phone ransom, that he has manipulated the situation and badgered you and yeah. awakened you, yep. pulled the covers off of you. Are those things true or are they not? Somebody is lying here. No, I don't manipulate her for sex at all. Um, you know. So have you, have you said, I'm not gonna give you your phone unless you have sex with me? No, I've never ever said that So to her. she's lying? No. I've never said, hey, Sang, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep your phone unless you have sex. Actually, no. just this morning um, in her hotel room, he had my phone and I, was, he was taking, I asked him to take a picture of me and he said, you come over here and get it and held it over here. I had to, I said, just give me my phone back because he wanted sex so badly this morning. He was taking my phone at that point and holding it for ransom. I couldn't get my phone back unless I was gonna have sex with him. And or, did you? No, I did not. I told him not doing that. D did you do that this morning? I had my phone and we were playing around. I didn't it have your phone. phone. It was my phone. Did you do that? Right. Your phone, her phone, my phone, anybody's Whatever. phone. D did you do that to try and extract <laughs> sex from her? I didn't try to extract sex from her. The case is, yeah, we were, we were, it was like 6 in the morning, and uh, we were getting up, and I was taking pictures, and I said, well, come over and get them. And she, uh, she goes, no, and I gave her a phone back with them, like, hey, go, come over and get them. You know, that was it. Either way, either way, either way. Okay, now, uh, let, let's talk about the other side of this. You say that she loses control, that she hits and punches you in the arms, the chest, and the stomach, that yeah. she has actually spit on you, yeah. followed you, I think, on the stairway or something, yeah. and spit on you on the stairway, and that, you, that she gets in your face to make you listen. It's confrontation up in his face. True, false? I think that is true. I okay. Gonna... That you have kicked in the big screen television that you have kicked a hole in the big screen TV. I true or false? That's true, I've kicked the big screen TV. I okay. kicked the TV. Kicked a hole in it. That you've broken his laptop twice. Yep, broken his laptop twice. He says he's gone in the closet and hidden in there and held his feet against the door to keep you out trying to get away from you. Yes, he has done that. I've been after him um, because of what he's done to our kids. Um, my kids' his arms have been twisted, their lips have been bleeding, um, my son's have been slammed to the ground, and I'm trying to make sense of everything. And he's taken off running around saying, oh, nothing happened, nothing happened, nothing happened. And I'm like, well, I gotta pick up all of your pieces now with this child who's sitting here screaming and crying, saying, mom, 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 and he takes off, thinks there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. The kids are caught up in the middle of all this. Yes. Are, have you been inappropriate with these children? Inappropriate. Too rough with them, calling them names, putting your hands on them in anger? I think I am too rough with the kids sometimes. Um, I'm a bigger person, but uh, like I said, I love my kids. I love them very much. You do this in front of the kids? We do. You chase him, he's with you. I mean, it's just back and forth in front of the children. We do. You know, they're calling me from outside of the house, crying. Um, they call me from inside the house. I've never heard my name so many times. Mom, 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 mom. Mom, dad's not doing this. Mom, dad's doing this to me. Mom, mom, mom. It's always, I feel like I'm alone. I feel like I'm always the one having to take care of everything. Um, I feel like I'm the defender of my kids, myself. And that, I think that's why I do get aggressive and I get angry and, you know? Well, Sonia and Lawrence's 10-year-old son, Ian, had some things that he wanted to share with me about his parents and their behavior. Let's see what he has to say. My mom and dad fight a lot, and I don't want them to. When they fight, it makes me feel sad, and I cry. I don't get why they're fighting, and it's just really hard to watch. What makes me the most sad is when they're both hitting each other and stuff. When mom and dad get done with their fights, my dad has to yell at me or my little sister. My mom and dad yell a lot, but my dad yells more. 
I get on his nerves a lot. A lot of times I feel like both my parents put me in the middle of their fights. I feel like, well, what did I do? My mom talks to me about why they fight a lot. I don't think it's fair that I'm caught in the middle. Boy, you better get going right now. I wish Dr. Phil could fix it just by snapping his fingers. So what do you think about that? That's sad. That's him talking to somebody besides you guys. He's just, uh, he, he was hungry to talk to somebody. Yeah, I am yeah. too. I just want help. What do you think about it, Lawrence? No, it's horrible. We got a dysfunctional family. Yeah, we need some help. I wrote down some things he said out of there. I wanted to share it with you again. I feel good about my mom and dad coming on the show because I think it will help a lot. I, I just don't like them fighting. I hope when they get back from Dr. Phil that they will be a lot better than they are now because I feel so sad. I want to tell Dr. Phil that it's sad to watch my parents fight and I would like for that to not happen anymore. You know, I tell him all the time, it's not your fault. And I'm sorry, but I'm always apologizing to him. Sue says this marriage has some real earmarks of a domestic violence relationship. Sue, what did, what did you want to say? Well, if you really look at this case, Dr. Phil, you, uh, and all the indicators are there. There's name calling, there's threats to her, threats to the children, uh, some sexual abuse is occurring. And it, it just, you know, the list goes on and on. And in the cases that we see, a number of these um, items are indicators that this violence is escalating and becoming more severe. And, and it makes me fearful. You know, love does not equal fear. And, you know, it shouldn't be fearful for her. So if she's feeling that fear in her stomach, then, you, you know, Sonia, you really need to think about that. I want you to to do what you have to do to keep this family intact. You know, I've talked about the fact that this situation needs a hero. What does that mean to you when I say that? I, would, I wouldn't use hero. You need, there needs to be somebody that provides the right direction in this family, uh, the right, right focus. And uh, I, I've been all over the place. And uh, if I'm all over the place, I guess everybody else is. And well, what I mean by hero is, you know, there comes a time where somebody has to step up and say, you know what, I'm not interested in being right. I'm interested in being happy. Somebody has to step up and say, I'm going to lead us in the right direction. I'm going to take the high ground. I'm going to rise above all this. I'm going to go home. I'm going to sit down and apologize to my children. I'm going to say, look, if I've gotten out of hand and, and scared you guys, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't mean to do that. But, but son, I, I love you, and I'm sorry if I've scared you. I, I, I didn't mean to do that. Girls, I don't want you to see guys this way. I, I love you guys. And I'm not going to have this in this family anymore. That's what I mean when I say the situation needs a hero. And Lawrence, you can be that man. You can be that father. You can be that husband. And you have to do the same thing. <laughs> Just take these kids out of the middle of this. Are, are you willing to work on this with him? Yes, yes. If, if I make specific arrangements for y'all to have that help back home, will, will you do it? Yes. Oh, yeah. Not because she wants to, but because you say, I, I need to take my game to the next level. I think it's really important. It's the most important thing. I need to stop this gambling. I, I need to s stop the behaviors that seem to be bothering other people. Right. I need to be more sensitive to everybody's feelings and, and step up to it and learn better ways to do what you're doing. Okay, can we do that? Let's make this one work and let's come back here and say, you know, Dr. Phil, we made this work. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.